We're at Battery Resourcer's pilot plant. Uh, we cycle lithium ion batteries uh, to recover the materials so they can be used in a new battery. And the recovered cathode materials are as good as uh, brand new commercial uh, cathode powder. This technology came out of Professor Wong's lab at uh, WPI. This is a proprietary uh, process which is patented uh, by WPI and Battery Resourcers as an exclusive license for. It's a pilot plant, so the goal is to uh, prove out the technology at scale uh, and, and show that we could scale to a full-scale production facility. Uh, our scale is 500 kilograms of spent batteries per day. We hit our, like, our goal in terms of uh, capacity, uh, but now we're optimizing and, and really learning about the process so that we'll be able to efficiently and effectively scale to a full-scale plant, which uh, will be more than three tons per day. Over 90% of the batteries that we recycle are f spent electric vehicle batteries, uh, and they're from the major U.S. vehicle producers. The process is important is because currently when they recycle lithium ion batteries they just burn the batteries and they recover like the some metals uh, but the lithium is actually lost to the battery industry forever uh, whereas our process it's recovered so it can be used in a new battery and if you envision uh, a world where there's much more vehicle electrification much more batteries and grid level storage you're going to want to uh, or going to need to recover that lithium to keep the battery prices down. So when we founded in 2015, uh, we had no employees, uh, and then I started working full-time in 2016. Now we have seven full-time employees. Six of our seven uh, employees are former WPI uh, students or postdocs. A big reason why uh, we stayed here locally uh, is our connection to WPI. Um, we still uh, have subcontracts with Professor Wong's group uh, and are continually making improvements on the technology with Professor Wong and the help of WPI.